Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Kim, George, and Nick. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Kim. Hello, I'm going to be playing a Mia deck for the first time, and I hope that I've got a good amount of locations in my deck. All right, sounds good. Next up, we have George. Everyone, today is called Please Save My Earth. It's named after a classic 90s anime. And the reason I called it that is because one of the common pictures in the show is a picture of a vid window from the moon to the planet Earth, which is a pretty, one of the most prettiest pictures that a person can usually see. It's our beautiful planet from space. So I call it Please Save My Earth because I have a combination of green, a combination of blue. So this is a Telsic deck. All right, Telsic Mufari. Lots of tricks, I bet. All right, next up, we have Nick. Yeah, so today I'm trying out uh, Mauricio's Revolution once again, the Uprising. Uh, it didn't uh, it didn't take off too much last time. It was a, just a teensy bit too much card draw. But I've mulliganed that away, and we're going to see if we can land our denizens like we should. Nice, yep. And as was said in that episode, revolutions never die, right? They just slumber. Right. And today, I'm playing Bailey, Scrapyard Worker. My idea for this deck is that Bailey has picked up a nasty habit of digging through other people's trash to uncover their dirty little secrets. I've got tons of ways to peek at my opponent's hands, and you best believe I'll be exposing anything juicy I come across, because Bailey respects nobody's privacy. Mm -hmm. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. I'm going to start by gaining my gold, and I'm going to play Kalnea, City of Light. No, <laughs> yeah. don't like Kalnea. All right, let's take a look. Everyone gets to take a look, and I get to draw a card. All right, I actually, this does give me some value. In case you're new to this game, what just happened is Kalnea forces everyone to draw a card, and if your hand is already full, you're going to have to put that card onto the top of your deck. So getting it on turn one is really good, because Kim obviously had that one open spot, but everyone else did not. So basically asymmetrical effect right there. And then I'm going to play a travel abroad to fetch a non-unique location. Wow, all right. What a start. Um, yeah, here we go. I'm going to put Exped Exploration Vessel into my hand for my deck. That's then a good I'm choice. going to play Exploration Vessel. And I'm going to take my free draw for turn. Uh, and I might as well play out a Kedarin Vault as well. Wow. <laughs> So wow. Neodex just always just early Keterans. Hey man, it, it's not it, bad. It fits the lore. Yeah. She gets her quest seeker license from Kalnea, and then it's finding this vault that makes her famous. So, lore accurate. First turn. Okay. So I get one gold. I will play Statue of the Wise Teacher. Interesting. I will take my free draw right now. So I guess we're just going to have to play Preventive Measures. What you got there? Ick. Never any surprises, huh? Never. Never. The Luring Seductress is usually in a very good purple deck mixed with everyone down, but I see supportive friends here, so we cannot allow that, Nick. Uh, they're only your friends. I should have known. <laughs> Go ahead and shuffle, Nick. And now to look at Alvin's deck. Bring it what on, George. I'm not afraid. Secrets. I'm not completely okay with bomb research. Oh, fine. Good one. <laughs> yeah, it's very good in the Bailey deck. Please shuffle your deck. Yes, sir. Kim. Now, oh boy. What's going on in here? Okay, I don't like these skilled huntresses. Uh -huh. I don't like them, so I'm putting one of those into the inactive zone. Be a deer and uh, shuffle your deck. Of course. Let us draw the cod past my turn. Awesome. All righty. So for mine, I gain my gold. I used to know what was on the top, but I can still know because I have a decorated path. So I'll yep. use its arrival. Oh. Do the top one. Uh, I think that's fine to have, so we'll use, take a free draw. And uh, I got nothing in my hand that costs one, but I have a very cheap denizen as my champion, so let's just let's bring him out here. Yeah, Hello, nice. Mauricio. Oh, let's, exactly. let's start the uprising. Turn one, the turn Mauricio. one Mauricio. Um, and just because, in the case there's another Kalanade that shows up, I know that Alvin doesn't usually play them, but you never know. Uh, we'll drop, a, drop another location. That's all we do, and we'll pass. Wow, Nick, actually, you're right about that. I have no Kalnea on this deck. So smart, as always. All right, begin my turn. Get one gold. I'm going to play Quiet Path, and I'm going to take a look at the top card. Yep. 
put that on the bottom. And then for one gold, I'm going to play training dummy. And then I'm going to take my free draw. Very nice, very nice. And then, yeah, sure, why not? Let's just go ahead and play familiar road, imprinting red. And then, yeah, that's good for me. I'll pass the turn. All right, I'm going to gain my gold, draw my card, and pay two gold for Explore the Unknown. And mm. that'll be it. That'll be my turn. That's a good one. Okay, so I now have two gold. Let's get this going with an exploration vessel. We're going places. On yeah, this board. everyone's. I will take my free draw. Guess I will play my Master of Poison. Hmm. Hmm. And I will pass my turn. Yeah. Let's uh, gain my goal for the turn. We're going to take our free draw. Do so on, do so on. I think the best play for me is to search on this hidden waterfall for gold. And unfortunately, not use the rest of our gold. But we'll, we'll prepare for the future turns mm -hmm. and pass. All right. Nice, simple turn. My turn. I'll get my gold. I'll use my free draw. All right. So this is just too tempting not to do. So I'm going to go ahead and sell my training dummy to get one gold. And the first intrusion of privacy is going to happen right now because I'm going to play Hired Spy and I'm going to take a look at all of y'all's hands and draw a card. So Kim, you're first. OK, okay. interesting. So. Kim has got an Eldrian famed explorer. Letting you hey. know right now. <laughs> George, let's see. Watch out, because George has got Junila, Curious Observer, in his hand. Oh. All right. Digging through more Closed. trash. Let's find out more secrets. Oh, wow. A hired spy. All right. Well, all right. I need information to run this, to run this revolution. <laughs> So yeah, other than that, I'm actually going to keep the rest of Nick's a secret because I actually think that benefits me more that you don't know what's in his hand, and I do. So, hehe. <laughs> All right, and then I'll draw a card to finish off with that ability. Okay, and then now I will drop a location, Quiet Path. I will activate its arrival to take a look at the top card. Interesting. I'll leave that. And then I'll go ahead and abandon the familiar road to draw that card. And now I'll go ahead and play that card. It was this. Okay, cool. I think I've done everything I need to do. I will pass it over to you, Kim. All right. I'm going to be gaining my gold and then taking my free draw. Uh, yeah, and putting a phase counter on my Explore the Unknown. I will play a hidden cave, and then I'm going to use Explore the Unknown's ability to look at the top three and put one into my hand and then shuffle. I am going to play Quest for the First Vault for two and ask for donations for one, and pass my turn. Sounds cool. We have three gold for me. I have a free draw, and I'll take that right now. Okay. Let's get Mufari out here. Ooh. Despite the fact that he's out here, we aren't going to be doing anything particularly out here yet. Just building, just just, just observing. Pre preparing just, you know, for the hunt. Not quite preparing ready for, for the that. hunt. To, to save the earth. So uh, I pass my turn. So he's like hunting poachers, maybe? Per I Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, so start of my turn to gain some gold. I believe we will start by searching this hidden waterfall to completion. Go up a gold. Whew. And three of that will be as Alvin made mention. No surprises here. My own hired spy. All right, so now you get to see what is in everyone's hand. Right, so let's just use that arrival right now. Starting with Alvin. I see, I see. And I don't think I'm going to do the same sharing as Alvin did. <laughs> information is just for me. That's good. Maybe that buys you a favor, in fact. I'm glad that you did not spill my beans. Yeah. So I already knew one of these cards, and the other ones are quite expected, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good to see from Kim. Yeah. George's deck is as spicy as always. Spicy? see where he's going. Is it hot? That Jamaican spice, eh, George? Jerk chicken. The deck. <laughs> Beastie. Uh, so yeah, now that the looking's out of the way, we'll take that card draw. Man, mm -hmm. there is no privacy in this episode. All right, then one remaining gold, we will play a history education. Ooh. I haven't taken a free draw for the turn, so I'm going to. Nice, you know, nice. And yeah, let's just keep some room out in the hand. Let's play a hidden flower patch for the future. And uh, Maria so isn't usually leading the aggressive side of the revolution, so he's, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't get much done when he does so anyway. So we'll just pass the turn. <laughs> nice. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start my turn, get my three gold. I'll use my free draw. 
Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna take a nice, a nice old setup turn, methinks. So I'm for one gold gonna play my own history education. While Nick's history education is probably about rebels learning their past, because every revolution needs to know their history. Uh, mine's more so like looking at your credit history, because again, I'm digging through people's trash. And then for another gold, I'm gonna play bomb research. Very good in the Bailey deck. And then for one more gold, I'm gonna put a search counter on my hidden crag. Then I'm gonna go ahead and abandon one of my quiet paths to draw a card. Awesome, awesome. All right, the higher spy is gonna go ahead and whack this boat. Two damage right. to that, please. And then I'll go ahead and pass the turn. Great. I'm going to start with gaining my gold, putting a counter on each of my campaigns. I'm going to go ahead and use the Ask for Donations ability to gain a gold. Uh, then I'm going to fetch a non-unique location from my deck using Quest for the First Vault. I will take a Exploration Vessel. <laughs> 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 then I'm going to Shuffle. And I'm also going to explore the unknown. So look at the top three. Put one of these into my hand. And I'll shuffle the rest into my deck. I'm going to play Mia. Play Vessel. Mm -hmm. And then take my free draw. Nice. Uh, then I'm going to play Isolated Cottage. And put a counter on Hidden Cave, gaining one point. And that'll be my turn. Time for four gold. And I will play Learn by Observation. Interesting. Use what my last gold to turn Mufari deadly. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Mia, very dangerous. <laughs> I cannot allow her to live, and I am going to be using Fari to attack her. It appears Mia is lacking some experience. A little Just a little so I will now be taking my free draw. I think we're in good shape. Okay, I will pass my turn to you, Nick. Nice. All right, so I'll start by gaining my gold for turn and a phase counter. Uh, okay, we will have a turn start off with me trying to take care of some of these deadly denizens because I have a lot of cards in my hand, as Alvin knows, that will be countered by that. So I will have Hired Spy attacking the Master of Poison. Oh, interesting. Wow. Mauricio, very sad about the state of the revolution, but that uh, inspires him to write some poetry, so I gain two points. Yes. Tragedy yeah. fuels revolutions like nothing else. Yeah. And the next play will be Guilty Conscience. Woo! So, oh, <laughs> one, uh, All right. oh! one champion you attacking are... another is just too much tragedy. Too much tragedy. It feels guilty. My higher spy so, felt bad for damaging know. a boat. <laughs> All right, and the last remaining gold, we will charge our hidden flower patch with a search counter. I guess we should take our draws to the turn. Let's take our free draw and our history education draw. I activate that to draw a card. Very nice. That's all I got. Pass to Alvin. Very inventful turn cycle. I like it. All right, get my gold for turn, get my phase counters, use my free draw, use my history education draw. Wonderful, wonderful. Four. Okay, so this turn, I will need to activate my hidden crag to do everything I want to. So I'll put one gold into it. Uh, giving myself back two gold. For two of that gold, I'm going to play Bailey, Scrapyard Worker. For yes. another gold, I'm going to play Chromatic Ring. And then uh -oh. I'm going to go ahead and activate my Bomb Research, dealing one damage no. to Chromatic Ring. No. It'll be converted into a destroy effect. And when it is destroyed, I will score four points in the process. And then after a nice hard day of doing some honest work, she's going to go ahead and dive right back into her dishonest late night habit of digging through people's trash. And let's see what I find this time. I'm going to play a hit list and then I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and view Kim's hand. The hit list is going to hit Eldrian. Oh, all right, George, let's see what you're working with. OK, so I actually think that after seeing more of your deck, this Junila was 100% a bait. So I'm going to go ahead and take out your cunning strategist. And Nick, I'm going to take a look at your hand, but actually because you did not spill the beans on what, what was in my hand, I actually think I want to return that favor to, you know, curry uh -huh. more in the future. So I'm actually not going to remove any denizens, but I will just kind of take a look, see at the new, new additions. So yeah. Awesome. All right. So that's that. Go ahead, Kim. Mm, okay. I'll start by gaining my gold and my counters. I will first fetch a non-unique location card. I'm going to get a hidden thicket out of my deck. 
then shuffle, then explore the unknown to look at the top three, put it into my hand, then shuffle, then I'm going to gain my ask for donations money. My explore the known unknown is lost because it's hit its third phase. Uh, I'm going to pay four to play Mia. Yep. Then I'm going to pay one to activate Hidden Cave, gaining a point and gaining two gold. Then I would like to pay three to play Masked Vigilante. Mm. No, this is the setup. And then I'm going to pass my turn. Time for my five gold. Time to activate phase one of Learn by Observation. We will resolve this in a moment. Uh, I would like to start off my turn with a termination notice. And I will oh pay one gold right now to banish bomb research. Yep. Oh. That very wise. Brutal. It's a really effective campaign. That's right, yeah. yeah. Then I will use Become Ferocious on Mia. Oh, oh really? Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is actually brilliant. That is Where's so that brilliant. Blood? She's a brute wandering the wilds of Meandir. Yep, that's that's all I can do for this for my turn. I shall pass my turn to Nick. My turn. I will start by gaining five gold and a phase counter. History Education. The whole reason I spent all that time getting rid of the deadly denizens was so that I could play my ardent denizens. Mm. Not have them just thrown away under their the strength of deadly. We'll take a free draw. Yeah, I will spend one gold to search uh, further on the hidden flower patch. And then I will set up with two campaigns. One is a Demoralize. No. One is a Mauricio's Inspiration. <laughs> wow. Uh, there uh, they come. I knew those were in his hand. And we have one draw left from the History Education. Let's take it. We all abandon this hidden flower patch. Fully utilized. And wouldn't you know it, off the top, <laughs> we found our way. Wandered right into another one. No, no attacks to make. No further gold to spend. Take it away, Elvin. All Alvin. right. That's you. I'll begin my turn. Grab my face counter, and I'll do go ahead and take my free draw as well as my history education draw. All right, so now that I lost my bomb research, it's as if I have no meaning in life anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this rage-filled little redhead into your your boat. She's gonna start hammering. All right. Away. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play live on the edge. Ooh, cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play and abandon familiar road to get a draw okay so i came here to intrude on people's privacy and i shall continue to do so <laughs> for one gold i'm going to play intelligence report and for another gold, i'm going to activate it let's find out what juicy secrets the lot of you are hiding now interesting bailey has <laughs> discovered that there are two reap the harvests in kim's hand oh. Oh. all right george what are you working with nothing new because Unfortunate for getting a free draw mechanic. Oh, so I will not reveal any more from that. And Nick, I think this time I'll reveal one single card. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'm listening. There has been some talk of uh, immoral behavior going on. There may be a seductress in the town. That's that's all oh, I'll mention boy. based on the trash that I've been rifling through. All right, and now I'll draw no. a card. Oh, that's a good one that to reveal. Is... Yeah, and then I'll lose that. Okay, so I'm going to pass the turn and let this gold go to waste. All right, I'm going to start by gaining my gold encounters. Uh, as for donations, I will activate immediately, gaining another gold and losing it. Then quest for the first vault, I will fetch a unique location, and I don't believe I have a unique location left in my deck, so I'm just going to take the shuffle on that. Then I'm going to take my free draw. Then pay one, two, three to play a masked vigilante. Oh. Then I'm going to pay one to play Reap the Harvest. Yep. Gaining three gold, since I have three or more denizens. Then I'm going to pay one to play Reap the Harvest. <laughs> yep. Gaining three gold. Both in the same Putting turn, in. huh? It's going to be huge. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to use Isolated Cottage's ability yep. that people apparently have been looking past to lose Mia. Uh, I remembered it, but you gotta try. <laughs> that was two gold. Then I'm going to replay Mia for four. I'm going to put a counter on the Keteran Vault mm -hmm. for one gold, gaining one point. 
then I'm going to play out a hidden thicket, putting a counter on it uh, for one gold, okay. getting one point. And then I'm going to use Master Vigilante's ability, the one that hasn't entered this turn, on Mia so that she cannot be attacked. Damn. Pretty cool. Nothing keeps Mia down. Nothing keeps her down at all. And I'll pass. Okay, so I get my gold to six, because it's turn six, and I turn my learn by observation phases uh, up one, and I have a free draw that I will exercise now. Play efficient workflow. There it is. And with that, I pass my turn. All right. Big well, turn next turn. Most, we all know that efficient workflow yeah. makes yeah. bigger moves the following turn, so we're watching. <laughs> I will gain my gold and many, wow, many phase counters. All those phase counters. No. Uh, so we'll start with redraw. We're going to kick off this revolution. The zealous protester is going to get aggressive and indeed come after ships, the yachts of the bourgeois Mia. <laughs> all right. Uh, away it goes. Uh, I'm going to activate Demoralize. I'm going to hit Masked Vigilantes one each. Ooh, okay. okay. Minus one, minus one. And then, you knew this was coming, but I suspect that's why you played the second one. For three gold, I'm going to play Alluring Seductress. Take mm -hmm. one of them. Oh, All right. boy. All right, then we'll Court Advisor for two more gold. And then I will use the draw from History Education. All right, and then we'll drop a Hidden Waterfall. So yeah, we will charge the second Hidden Waterfall. And I will activate Mauricio's inspiration, but a Denizen I control did not leave play, so I do not drink three cards. That's right. But Nick did activate it. That's a record show. I got I gotta get that activation. In. He's got writer's block. Yeah. He's sitting by he's sitting there, he's like got the cool in hand. There's, there's nothing on that page though. <laughs> so. All right. Not enough tragedy. It's, uh, it's Viva la Revolution and past you. All right. Viva nice. La Revolution! Nice setup turn, Nick. All right, so I'll get my goal for turn. I'll uh, get my phase counters. First, I'll take my... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to activate Live on the Edge first. Living Sorry. life on the edge. That's right. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the top three cards of my deck. And then I'm going to choose one oh. of those cards that I just removed to put into my hand. So the important aspect there is you do get to know what I'm putting back into my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and put the schedule book into my hand. Uh, so then I'll go ahead and play the schedule book. So now I have a free spot to take a free draw. And then I will play Dangerous Path, taking a look at the top card. Uh, I don't think I want that right now. OK, so I'm going to spend one gold to activate schedule book to look at the top two cards of my deck. And I can put them back on top or on bottom in any order. So let's go ahead and put this on the bottom and leave that. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, now use my history education to draw that card. And then now I'm going to go ahead and spend another gold to play that card that I just drew, schedule book. Okay, so now I'm going to use the second schedule book. Take a look at the top two cards. No, do not want. Just uh, put both of those on the bottom. And then now I will use my abandon action to draw one more card. Okay. So I'm going to play outmaneuver to dismiss Mia because I just want to tax mm -hmm. four at this point. And then now I'm going to sell the second schedule book that I played to get one gold. And then I'm going to play for one gold burn. And this burn is going ah. to target this schedule book. It's going to be converted into a destroy effect because of Bailey. And when it is destroyed, it triggers her second ability, scoring myself four points. And then mm -hmm. Bailey herself can go ahead and make an attack. I will go ahead and start working away on this location here, I think. So two damage to that All right. All right, pretty productive turn. I'll go ahead and pass. Okay, I will start by gaining my gold. I'm gonna take my free draw and uh, abandon Kalnea. Mm. For so draw long. another guard. I'm gonna go ahead and pay three to play Treasure Hunter. Uh, I will also pay one, two, three, four to play out Mia. Then I'm going to play a hidden cave. Mm, which will activate my expedition. Yep. So I will activate that ability to gain two. Then I'm going to put one of my gold into hidden thicket. Gain one more point and two more gold. 
Then I'm going to play three of this gold into the exploration vessel. Nice. Yep. One, two, three, and then I'll draw a card. And then I'm going to use Mass Vigilante's ability to give me a unattackable for a turn. A turn cycle, I guess I should be. Yeah, a turn cycle. Yeah. I should specify. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pass my turn. Okay, so for my turn, I'm on turn seven, so I get seven gold. I activate Efficient Workflow. Until the end of my turn, cards I play cost one less gold to play. Let us play Mufari to start. Two gold. I have a free draw that I will take now. Oh, cool. Uh, I play Research Vessel. Quick Learner for two more gold. Sure. And put three gold into Exploration Vessel and draw a card. And uh, Learn by Observation is... uh, done um i mean i, I could mean you could it. make a political play you i i wouldn't mind grabbing the quick learner's ability from you <laughs> uh uh i don't i don't i don't okay i mean that's an ops that's, that's no you don't have to i was just uh yeah. i'm just asking for a political favor that's all i'm asking for so since i can't see it I'm going to have to assume that the only thing I'll have to really think about is how I win. So, and that's what I should focus on. So I'll do it. I will use learn by observation on quick learner to give Bailey quick learner's ability. All right. You know, like politics makes the game fun. Know Just saying. Happen. What do you think? This what do you think true. my revolution deck has to say about politics? Oh no! Mm. I forgot who I was dealing with. Mm. All right. Past turn. Nick, right. what's your turn? <laughs> no, it's good. You you made me take an action, or you're going to, I presume. It has to put Bailey down a notch. But we'll start with gaining our gold and our phase counters. So let's take our free draw. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a room in our hand. Just drop a location. We're gonna the revolution's gonna get start getting feisty over here. Um, I mean, you have enough soldiers. Yes. So we're making an attacks. Court advisor and alluring seductress and masked vigilante. They're going to board this vessel and wreck oh, up the place. The revolution, it begins. All right, removed. Sunk that ship. Mm-hmm. Next, we're going to uh, search on this hidden waterfall, go up a gold. Uh, I'll use two gold to outmaneuver my alluring seductress. Ah. When she leaves play, Mauricio, just as though she was inactive, somebody left Mauricio. Mauricio, very sad. The revolution two gains points. momentum. All right. Then we will use Demoralize. I'm going to give Treasure Hunter minus two, minus two, mm-hmm. and Bailey minus two, oh, minus two. Oh, my super cool trick is not going to happen now. Too bad. Oh, all right. So sad. See, Nick was prepared. I interrupted these political activities. That's true, but I made him have to do it. So it's not a, it yeah. was not a non-zero amount of... Got him on the street. Yeah, that, wasn't even, that wasn't even really on my radar until that deal was made. Exactly. So I feel like... You had to take the chance, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So then we'll replay it. Ooh, she's back. Oh, she's back. And this time I'm going to take Treasure Hunter. Oh, oh this expedition is so unlocked smart. too. Oh my goodness. So intelligent. The outmaneuver for the next seductress. I don't need two seductresses. I just need one and one outmaneuver. That's unfortunate. This is Game amazing. control. All right. So then... Uh, I have made a, a location drop this turn. The merchant vessel entered. Mm-hmm. Treasure hunter knows that the merchant vessel has arrived in our docks. I'll gain two gold. He's found some treasure. Yeah. Then I will activate Mauricio's inspiration, and the luring seductress has left and returned. But left is the important thing. I'll draw exactly. two cards. Oh man, this revolution is crazy. When it gets rolling, I don't know. I don't know what the momentum needed is to stop it. Let's abandon a hidden waterfall. Draw one card. I should have been using the court advisor. Well, no time like the present. Routine. Look at the top two cards of the deck. <laughs> Never mind. My abilities. <laughs> yeah. Revolutionaries, sometimes they're kind of impulsive, right? They act before they think. Yeah. To get things uh, done. It's like, wait, you haven't heard my Sing. you haven't heard my advice. Oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Even though he hired him, he doesn't know what to do with him. So the <laughs> advisor's like, oh boy. But you know what? Knowing what's on the top now, maybe it's better that it's there and not in my hand. Oh, wow. Acting before you think pays well, off can, sometimes. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'll just make it so I can play draw it with the Grand Theater. Mm, okay. All right. And I didn't know this was coming, but now that it's here, we'll drop Tren. Oh, no! 
because uh, we need more learning to teach Mauricio how to properly play. Those yeah. protesters are going to make an attack into this mass vigilante. Oh, I think wow. I'm done taking All right. Cool. All right. And with one gold remaining, we'll just search in the flower patch. All right. So when I end my turn, our ardent denizen will return. Those protester back here. There he is. Uh, no longer hostile. But sadly, as uh, I had to choose between Mauricio's points and Tren's points because it just entered again and Tren doesn't respect that. So Tren will see <laughs> one, two, three denizens that were still in play uh, since the start of the turn. And I will gain six points. Going up to 12. Wow. I don't know if right. we can stop this revolution. It's just, it's picked up so much momentum. It's got a lot going on. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. Get my gold, get my Faz counters. Go ahead and activate, live on the edge. Hey, my deck. on the bam, edge bam, of bam, bam. All right. And then I will put... Sense to put this card down. Oh, okay. This is such a hard choice, but yeah, I'm going to put assert dominance into my hand. All right, and then now I'm going to take my mm, draw. Asserting his dominance. You almost couldn't resist that roadblock, could you? Yeah, I was like, oh, man, I really want that roadblock. All right, so I guess the goal is basically just to see if we can make Nick not win next turn. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to race at this point. I need to do a setup slash slow Nick, slow Nick down just a little bit. So it's I'm gonna, probably going to be a very quiet turn on yeah, my turn. I'm going to play this as my setup, summon. and then... Mm -hmm. I think what I have to do is just use up my resources here, as bad as this feels. So I'm going to play two gold into Black Mora Powder, Mora Powder Trend. Dang. And then I'm going to play two gold into Restraining Order to banish this Court Advisor. So at least there's less sculpting of Nick's hand next turn. Put on the bottom. Yeah, put on the bottom. All right. I think at this point, it's all about just trying to score points and not care about messing with you guys anymore. So I'm just going to abandon this and draw another card. I think I've done all I can. It's up to you now, Kim. All right. I'll start by getting my gold, and I'll take my free draw. Okay. Mia is going to attack into Tren. I'm going to play a Hidden Thicket. Yeah, I'm going to play pay one, two, three for Crackdown on Crime. Nice. Then one, two, three for Crackdown on Crime. <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to put a counter on Kedrin Vault and Hidden Cave, cool. nice. which will gain me two points. Very nice. And cost my last two gold, and that'll be it. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, it is my turn. I have eight gold. It's turn eight. We are on phase two of efficient workflow. This statue of the wise teacher, yeah, that's getting abandoned. Okay. I will take my free draw now. Uh, I'm using efficient workflow. And then I play Astute Scholar. Uh, I will also play another efficient workflow. So I'm at three gold. I use preventive measures. All right, take a look, see. Uh, I will start with Nick. Your uh, worst. I got points from my unique denizen for once. So. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't really think there's much to do to stop you. Like, I don't see a play that... So I'm just going to get rid of this obnoxious name caller because it's a it's a card that can be very 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 potent even at the end of a game. Go ahead and shuffle Nick, and I will look at Albin's deck. I will get rid of Restless Pyromaniac. Please shuffle your deck, Kim. I am looking at your deck now. Uh, I see work the fields here. I will put it into your inactive zone. Please uh, shuffle your deck. Please and thank will you. Do. Draw a card. I create a Mufari's quarry on Albin's side of the field. All right. There he is. Thank you, thank you. And I, I choose for quick learner to copy Astute Scholar's arrival, draw two cards. Wow, so you can draw four? You don't even have enough uh, space so, for four. Okay, I guess that means I'll just draw three cards. And I will use the quick learner to shoot the alluring seduct. Wait, no. Yeah, Alluring Seductress. And I'll use Mufari to shoot the Zealous Protester. Oh, wait, sorry. No, uh, the, the Treasure Hunter. The Treasure Hunter. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> and I uh, pass my turn. We've been impeded, so I'm not going to gain too many points this turn. But yeah, we'll gain our phase counters. Got to start with a free draw first. We love free draws. <laughs> so we'll play a Junila's Curiosity for two. Hmm. But Mass Vigilante and Zealous Protester will attack into the Keteran Vault. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, all right. I will search the hidden flower patch one more time. Go up a gold. 
pay two for supportive friends and nice. one to activate it. So the next time I score points, it'll give me that many plus two instead. All right. And demoralize targets zealous protesters. And what will I pick? Uh, I'll pick the astute scholar. And I, as a result of that, Mauricio scores me two points plus two from the supportive friends. Beautiful. Cool. Uh, so that that finishes demoralize. Mm -hmm. uh, I have space for two cards now, so we'll activate Mauricio's Inspiration. Draw two, since I've done this in left play this turn. Very nice. And it's done. Okay, and then I believe, having drawn that, the last play will now be Cunning Strategist. Ooh. Oh, nice. And I've definitely drawn some cards this turn, so I will activate the Insight, Dismiss, Supportive Friends. That is so clever. Ah. Oh, and Gain two points from Mauricio. So, I don't know what you guys can do to stop me now, but... We'll see you try. I will end my turn. All right. Grab my goal for turn. Grab my phase counters. First, I'll activate Live on the Edge for the final time. Remove the top three cards in my deck. And then choose one to put into hand. Uh, I think this time it's got to be Blacklist. And then that completes this campaign. And then now I'll use my free draw. All right. Awesome. First, I'm going to play Bailey because I need to get some points. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Chromatic Ring. Then we're going to activate Assert Dominance. I'm going to target Bufari's Quarry. And then the second part of Assert Dominance will deal three damage to a Denizen. I'll deal damage thusly with the Assert yep. Dominance. And then I'll have Mufari's Quarry attack into the Kedron Vault to finish that off. Then the next part of the plan is to play Restless Pyromaniac and then activate it right away to deal two damage to the Chromatic Ring, replace to a Destroy Effect, which will destroy yeah. it trigger and score me four points and then for the last two gold i'm gonna go ahead and play live on the edge <laughs> fingers crossed i guess pass it over to you kim all right hour. uh i'm gonna start by gaining my gold and my counters and taking my free draw i will abandon hidden thicket to get a draw out of that too well i'm going to start banishing i guess mm -hmm. I will start with Mauricio and Vigilante. Revolution is quiet right now. I'm going to, I guess, then attack Mia into Quicklander. All right. Pay one gold to activate Hidden Cave, mm -hmm. going up two gold, getting a point. Then I'm going to Marked Map oh. uh, for one, and then look for a location. Uh, a non-unique location. It, it is a uh, patrol vessel, mm -hmm. so it's just another vessel. Shuffle back. I'm going to play control vessel. Pay one, two, three into it to draw a card, gaining three points. I think I'm going to be a little bit short. Next turn, I would have had it, though. Uh, I'll put a counter on Farmstead, gaining a point, losing a gold. Counter on Thicket, losing a gold, gaining a counter. Yeah, next turn I would have had this, but I don't know that I have next turn. Which is unfortunate. I'll pay two to lose my champion. Mm -hmm. I believe the way this happened is I'll gain the points first, That's and right. then it'll go to my hand. That's right. Uh, and I'm going to lose a gold this turn. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use my gold, actually, to play a toll collector. <laughs> then I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Better late than never. Yes. Nine gold, phase one efficient workflow. I activate efficient workflow. Now all of my cards cost one gold less to play. Right, Janila only costs two gold now, so I'm going to summon her to the field. I am also going to play Join the Hunt, and Im going to give that to Janila. Oh, Janila. One right. one. I use Become Ferocious on Mufari's quarry. Ah, alright. So give him no abilities, and he is now a four seven. I will draw my free draw. I activate Exploration Vessel. Well, I drew Killer Bees. Too bad hey. it was a turn too late. Hey. I have Restore Memories. Oh, can you restore no my point. memories? Can you restore Mufari's score? <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I mean, I might as well. Oh, yes. I'm just restore a memories to Mufari's quarry. <laughs> I don't know. Well played, George. And I pass my turn. All right. Well, I, uh, I look very smug, but I don't necessarily have anything in my hand to do this. But we got we got cost reduction, we got card draw, so let's let's see if we can dig yeah. to it. I'll gain my gold for the turn and a phase counter. And we'll start by activating Junila's Curiosity. I'm going to put this on the bottom of the deck. 
and things cost one less now. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with a free draw, since that made room in my hand. We'll pay one for a supportive friends. Whew. Spend two on Astute Scholar. Ah. Activate its arrival to draw two. Drop a location to make room. Abandon the location. Let's make it this uh, and theater. It's done its job. Oh, man. I'm on the edge of my seat. Did he get there? I will play Mauricio for one, because obviously I'll need him to gain some points. Mm -hmm. Then I'll drop a Grand Theater. Oh! Use his arrival. Come on! <laughs> draw <a> card. <laughs> Expected. Expected. Oh, none of these things. None of them. No! Uh, no! Revolution. But it's not over, because we have a hired spy. Yes! Oh. I don't really care what's in your hand. That was mainly just to draw the card. That was the arrival ability, by the way. Yeah. And we'll take that one Come draw. Come on, Nick! The train doesn't stop. Kalnea. Yes! Okay. Got one card. Never give up! <laughs> oh, man. I've drawn so many cards. You've drawn so many none cards! Of these can gain cards. <laughs> Okay. We will go out with a message of love to everybody out there. Two oh, preachers of love. No. Kim, you have to draw a card. No, All right. Nick. That's heartbreaking. Uh, what can you do? The revolution got as far as it probably could have gotten. That's crazy. I know. That's you just so drew, crazy. Like, you, drew, you drew seven cards. Is there really? It's true. That's insane. That's pretty yeah, One outmaneuver is what I was looking for. Yeah. Or another... Or another um or scold, right? Dishearten. Dishearten, yeah, dishearten would do it too. Or another cunning strategist would have been enough. Man. How many cards my deck? Well, I'll just we'll figure that out later. We have one gold oh, we'll spend it on okay, the court so... advisor, because why not? Oh. And Mauricio, confident in his revolution, will end the turn without getting any points. Oh Wild. man. Um okay, so the trick to seeing how many cards is in your deck is you uh, t uh click the option look at top end cards, but instead of selecting an option, you just scroll down to the scroll bottom. Scroll down. Yeah, and then hey, that'll I tell see. you how many cards are left in your deck. 17. There's answers in there, but couldn't get yeah. them. All right, Nick, this is so crazy. I'm I feel like the luckiest man on earth right now cuz uh when I begin my turn, uh I have what's in hand to win the game. I simply need to play uh... out my two items here for 3 gold. <laughs> And then for one of that gold, I'll activate Restless Pyromaniac to blow up the item, score myself four points, and then Assert Dominance will buff. You know what? The Mufari's Quarry gets buffed again, and then I'll deal the damage to the Obstructive Roadblock. It gets replaced to a Destroy Effect. Scoring myself the last four points and taking the game. Yep. GG's. Ah, uh, good game. GG's. Look at that, 18 and 18, oh, and I was 90% sure, 99% sure, in fact, that Nick was going to win that game. How far down? With one attacker, I would have gotten there. Yeah, one attacker. Oh, the obnoxious name so color the, the was... The misplay I think I made was, uh, I should have just guilty conscience my board and yeah. saved the dismiss for yes. the turn after, because that's a thing that doesn't require hostile to lose, and I wasn't thinking about that. Right. Our maneuver is... I threw again. Maneuver. Yeah, oh man, okay, so that is such a good point there by Nick. He does have that one more guilty conscious. Actually, uh, from what I remember, it was there since the beginning of the game almost, right? Uh, yeah, I drew two of them quite early on. Yeah. So there was a plan, like, oh, keep things in play and just sweep everything on a attack turn. Uh, I mean, that just goes to show though, right? Like one single difference in, in card play can be the difference between a win and a loss. That yeah. just goes to show, or if right? somebody just... was threat assessing on the board properly, you guys. Yeah, true. And also, George. Just make uh... attacks into the thing that destroys items ever? Come on. Don't, I can't do it with no designs on board. Mm -hmm. True. Yes. Yeah. Not responsible. Not responsible gaming. All right. And George, uh, it looks like you got shut out this game, but. Uh... Happens. It's okay. Yeah, happens. Learning, 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 learning. I love combination, card combination learning. Yeah. All right, that's a good attitude to have, man. That's the best way to learn and get better. So, I like this stuff. deck. It wasn't bad. It was just the bad. It was just a bad first turn and a bad turn yeah. of events. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, well, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now.